Burns? Yes. Chartrand? Yes. Yeah. King? Here. Calzer? Here. Lachose? Here. Lehman? Here. Marahan? Here. Mosier? Here. Osborne? Here. Dahlhoff? Here. Please stand in case of flag for club. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Report of the Finance and Rules Committee per Rule 6. Terry, please. The Finance and Rules Committee has met and they recommend to waive the rules to act upon late resolutions this evening. Need a motion? Tom, second by Ron. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Carries. The privilege of the floor, I'm going to save that till the end after we have this discussion. If anyone has a comment at that point, they can offer it, but I think it's premature to um, uh, try to do that now. So, reports of standing committees. Any standing committee have anything they'd like to report on? If not, uh, we'll move directly into the discussion. So, Jerry, would you like to have the discussion on the building process off? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and stuff. I've uh, been talking to Larry and Ryan. Um, I think we need, I want to do due diligence to where we're going to end up, if at all. So I guess one of the questions is that we need to bring up for discussion. Um, you know, there are some points if the building goes downtown, potentially it could help with development and this and that. So that's something that we need to look at and discuss. Um, you know, where we've talked about before, there's questions that we have on the existing design that Rick tags here to answer. But after our discussions and stuff like this, what I would like to do is kind of get a consensus whether we're willing to, one of the questions has come up, I'm open for it. It's however it shakes out is what we're going to do. Um, maybe we want to scrap the building we have and redesign it, see what the cost is to do that or start over completely. Um, it's just an option. Um, the other thing we need to kind of figure out is that potentially we're setting right now at 12.5 million is what we feel we can do one for. Um, one of the things is, and I'm not sure because it's changed, um, do we want to downsize it a little bit regardless of where it goes? Mm -hmm. So um, we're, we're going to start this discussion. I don't know. I think I've covered everything. And hopefully we'll get an idea of what direction the majority of people want to go tonight so we can start doing something. And the thing is, if we can't get a kind of rough decision, what we'd like to look into, because there's probably going to be questions tonight that we can get answers to by when we have our committee meeting and stuff, and kind of keep plugging along on this so we figure something out, because the study hinges, if we do the building, it solves a lot of the problems, and if we don't do the building, then we got other problems. So I think the biggest thing is, is where the majority of people feel it should go, and if it's going to cost more money to downsize it and put it elsewhere than the price tag we have to build it, are we willing to spend a little extra more to get it right? So um, that's where we're going to start, Dick. Yeah, I agree with everything pretty much that you said. My thinking is we're in a process where we're going to decide to build what have I think the first question we should ask ourselves and get some kind of understanding on is how many of us want to build a new building? Because if there's a majority of us that don't want to build a new building, there's no sense of sitting here tonight for their time. And then secondly, if there's enough of us that do want to build a build new building, I think we need to have a price we're willing to commit to. And then go from there and do what you've got through the discussion. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else while we're, we're talking and stuff like that? Well, I guess I would say I'm personally opposed to using the eight-year-old drawings in that project. I think we should start from scratch. Okay. I mean, we'll discuss it and stuff like that. So, um, 
I guess the first thing are we even interested in the building and what anywhere and what would the what would be the limit that people are willing if we incur more of a cost than this are people willing to do it so mm -hmm. can we get something there I feel as are why should we spend more than the 12.5 we were estimated to spend to begin with well I mean it's just looking at different <coughs> options and see if we feel it's right there's 10 of us that make this decision and I mean we need to give it a fair shake so we need to discuss it when we vote on it then we make our decisions so we have no idea which way it'll go I mean we don't even know if there's enough votes to do anything well then let's make a motion if we want to build a new building or yeah not. I mean I make a motion how many I make a motion to build a new building do we have a second I'll second it so, that's a little. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Is there any discussion on that? You know, I, I would agree that we need to do something, but, you know, I think before we decide to need to build a new building, that we need to <coughs> look into exactly what the options are. I think since the time that this building was designed, our needs have changed. Our visions have changed. Uh, we recognize that we have other infrastructure issues that need to be addressed also. So instead of jumping right into deciding whether we're gonna build a building or not, I think it would make more sense to try to uh, form a ad hoc committee or something like that, get some input from the, the community, legislators, department heads, and see what the current feeling is on what uh, the community thinks um, which way we should move forward. <coughs> so, that's my thought that you would like so to we tried, on this. Chairman, we tried to commit to form an ad hoc committee four months ago. The group of 10 wanted to do it as a group of 10. So, what's the sense of even going down that road? Personally, I, I feel the reluctance to move forward with this is the fact that um, a lot of the legislators weren't comfortable with the current design and we're sort of dragging their feet because they weren't sure that that was the right answer. Well, well my motion is just to move, my forward, to move forward with the process. We don't have to decide on what design, but I think what instead of wasting our time and wrapping our gums for the next six months, whether or not we're gonna change designs or go with what we have, let's make a decision that we're gonna move forward in one shape or form that we're gonna commit ourselves to build a building. I don't care what it is. Let's make a commitment now so we aren't dragging our feet like we've been doing. I'm not trying to drag our feet. I'm trying to make sure that whatever we do. Well, we are, Chair. Sure. We are dragging our feet because we never discuss it. Well, and, and that's it. We spend time for informational meetings and this and that. And it's not a rush. I mean, the big thing is, are we going to build the building or not, or even add ascertain building the building? And I think that's one of the things we need to figure out. I mean, the building, and I, if people want to change it, whatever the majority wants to do, I have no problem with that. But on the same aspect, we're setting at the same building that was okay X amount of years ago. Yes, it's changed. But one of the questions is, if we downsize it 10%, is it going to cost us more than if we built the building the way it sets? Because I think we have discussions that we, my thing is, is that if we build exactly the same size or we go down, are we going to incorporate everybody in the building? Or are we going to leave DMV where, where some people think it ought to be in this and that? So, I mean, I do think we need to start the concept of building and you know if we can get the men or a small group with legislators and stuff like this to move it forward or all 10 but what we've had is meetings and we don't make any decisions and if people have a problem with it let's discuss it and correct it that's what we're here for I agree that we should continue to move the process forward and study the issue. I'm not sure that in that process we will um, either build
build a new building or we may get by with renovating an existing one. So I guess to your motion that we're gonna move forward and build a building, I would be more comfortable if it were that we were gonna move forward and study the process and try to figure out how to, how to fix it. And problem. that's fine whether we wanna renovate or not. I, I don't care if you wanna phrase it that way, we can do it. What are we renovating? <clears throat> well, potentially it'd be the old DSS building. Uh, you know, a 30 year old building and stuff like this. So well, that is light it's going to cost us more to renovate than it is to. That makes well, I mean, it's, logical sense. it's for discussion. So, I mean, if yeah, we, we discuss that, but we still need to know is everybody in favor of it's pretty simple. Are you in favor of building a building or not? Some type of, yeah, sure. simple. That's, that's all we need to know. I, you can, then we know at least some of that the majority is in favor of building a building. Then we go through the process. If renovating is what everybody decides at the end of the process, that's then what we, we do. But if somebody wants to go down that path, it seems, you know, I don't know why, but that doesn't make sense to me. Well, renovate a 30 year old building. Well, I, I might have a lot of records saying I'm not in favor of moving forward without public input. Correct. Well, that's part of it. So I'm not going to commit to and that's part of saying that. Part I mean, of we have public hearings to go to the ad hoc committee set up is what I'm. Meaning but we for. we tried that though, and so everyone we everyone to wanted to be involved. We did it. We tried an ad hoc committee amongst the legislators. We didn't talk to the community or department what, heads. Uh, okay, so what are we going to do? Create an ad hoc to involve the community, department heads, and the legislators? We were put in here to office to make decisions. Yes, we take the community's input and we bring that to the rest of the ten of us. But we were elected for a reason. Have we got any input from the people yet on this? I haven't heard anything negative well, about it. And it's been anything. in the news. And, so and the thing right. is, how can we have any input and we don't know what we're That's doing? That's right. You gotta have something to present to the have community. Something to present. That was that they don't like it. Then we hear from them. Then we hear from them and we, we change, we change the direction. Right. So the people in my district are not in favor of a new building from the comments that I've heard. I was at a meeting last Just night and they're staunchly against it. Okay. <laughs> I was at a training meeting up in Harrisville last night. I brought it up. And the price tag and everybody was in favor of it. Everybody. And, and these are older people that are retired. I was at Karen last night and everybody was in favor of it. Same way down in the southern part of the county. I mean, I think a lot of it, we've got to get the facts out. Right. I mean, Correct. a lot of people are in the impression their taxes are going up. It's going to be this, that, and everything else. And, you know, everyone sitting here is not going to do it. We can build it with windmill money, which is what we agreed to do before for infrastructure. And the thing is, is that it does not cost the taxpayers anything. And that's the right thing to do. <clears throat> the thing is, if we use it wisely to do the stuff we need now, and we build a 70 to 100 year old a building that'll last that long, we have something that's gonna keep giving back. If we frog around, eventually we're gonna have to do some stuff, and we may not be fortunate enough to do what we need to do on the windmill money, it's the taxpayers. Now think back on this, we did it on announced. We built the courthouse, we used windmill money to pay for that, that wasn't an increase to the taxpayers. We built the radio system, which we paid 5.1 million for that, it wasn't an increase to the taxpayers. And we can build a new building to fit our needs, modernize, and streamlined because the way we're going spread out all over the county it's costing us a lot of time maintenance plowing and everything else and i think these are some of the things that we've only got left that we can help the taxpayers in the future and the bottom line i would not vote for a building if we if we got to go to the taxpayers call and so the thing is is People are saying this, that, and everything else, but until we know what we're doing and can present it, how do they know they're against it? I agree with that 100%. We can say here and talk about it, but you gotta make a commitment. And then you form your committees. When you can take stuff back to them right. and say, this we is what we're looking at. You ain't got a price tag, because we don't even know what we're doing. 
We don't. Ridiculous. That's it. We don't know where we're going to end up. Whether we're we 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 we're up in the air. So how can you present anything to the public? Exactly. <laughs> the only thing I can say right now, we took the building we had X amount of years ago, 13, so it was six years ago, turned around, it's exactly the same building we're starting with to see where we want to go. So that's the best presentation we can do. But we've got a lot of property sites. The big question is, and you know, <clears throat> if the legislators are willing to spend, I'm not convinced that we can take and start changing this building, whether we downsize or not, and stay at the 12.5 price tag wherever we build it. So the question is, is we need to make some of these decisions. Are we willing to bump it up to 13 or $14 million that we are willing to invest in it to put it in the right place, whether it's downtown, whether it's up in the hill, or this and that, or do we want to just hodgepodge the stuff together? These are the discussions we have to have. We had, the, we had a projected, he was only projected payment you know, back in March with using a $15 million figure. Well, that's interest you know, in everything. That's everything. Yeah. We had a 3% interest rate. You know, so we do, we do have some of that information. It's just, mm -hmm. but is it? Is it going to work at that, or is it going to be more? We don't know until we decide that we're going well, to do that anything. Was, that was based on us leaving it right where it was originally designed. So if we want to move it, and the majority of people want to do it, if they're willing to pay more, then I'm fine with that too. But right. we I guess I'm not convinced that the design we got that was rejected six years ago is the design you should go with. It wasn't rejected six years ago. It was wasn't built. The reason it, it was, wasn't built. The so reason it wasn't built is because they decided we needed a radio system more than right. we needed to build. That's but, the only but reason but it we wasn't built. We put changes in. What that change? but that building has room for dispatch. Yeah. Do we need room for dispatch? We don't know. You no, don't know that. Constant. Right. But the, I'm the, saying the we, thing, need, we need to review it further before we go further. The thing is, if they get thrown out of there, yes, we do. The only reason that they're in the jail right now, Tom, is because we begged and plead with the commission to corrections to leave them there because we didn't have space for them. And there's only two, we're one of them, that's in that like that. So potentially, yeah, we may not need it, but down the road, we're talking about sure. another building to fit our needs. So, so we're not sure what we need because we may need it, we may not need it. We, that, that's what I'm getting at. I think we so, need a bit more review on so it. Aren't you so better there'll off? be a more expense to hire people in the jail if we take dispatch up to a new building. Yeah. Well, you're going to need more people, you're going to need women, excuse me, you're going to need women employed for the women and prisoners. So it's going to be male and female that we would be hiring. But the thing is, whether we want it or not, we might not have you a might choice. not have a choice. The only reason we're there yet is because we're well, we really food. don't know. That's the hard part. But isn't it better to build with the possibility that you might space. have to build a little extra space with that in mind? I don't That's know. We saying. built our house, but we didn't build it for 10 kids. Well, I don't know. Well, if you would have had 10 kids, would it be expanded it? Probably. Or okay. we'd have dealt with what All we right. had. All right, would it cost we more to expand? We would have lived with what we had. So that's fine. I'm hearing a lot of might, maybes, and possibilities. Yeah. Well, that's might, isn't it? Well, we operate. This whole world operates on the what if. I mean, I guess so, what I'm asking I is, if people well, want to look at it, they're willing to spend more. Let's have a vote on it. We'll go down and decide where we're going to end up. But we need some direction. I don't care if we redesign it, this, that, or anything else. We need to have a discussion and move it forward got to do something you're running and space once we decide then the public is where we take it to and ask for a thumbs up or a thumbs down because it's funny that the last time we voted it down a lot of people were disappointed because they thought we needed to build so I mean I'm just asking to move it forward and start looking at this stuff not just sit here and bump on the wall so your motion is to Keep the process moving forward, form a ad hoc committee, and look into to study the issue and find out whether we need well, to we're, build a new building, we're paying for renovate. And if you're ad hoc committee, the thing is, I think the legislators need to be on what they're willing to spend, not have somebody put an ad hoc get 
committee together and dictate what somebody else wants to build. I think we need to set a price parameter. So, so uh, the second option as I see it. First off, we got to know with the motion on the floor. Yeah, well, I don't know. Well, it sounds like they're changing my motion, Dick. So <laughs> they, they're, everyone's changing it to yeah, what's my question. Then. So what is the motion, Brian? What was the motion? Oh, yeah. It was to make a decision whether or not we're going to build some type of building for our our space needs. Did you second it? I'll second Any further discussion? We have a motion on the floor. Roll call, Terry, please. This is whether we want to move it forward or not. Friends? No. Sorry, friend. I, I want to see us go with the building. So, my understanding of that motion, I'll vote yes at this time. King? Yes. Calzer? Yeah. Lachos? No. Clayman? Yes. Mowerhan? No. Mosier? Yes. Osborne? No. Dalha? No. Vote is one, two, three, four, five to five, so the motion is defeated. Well, then we can, we, we don't we can call the meeting. Make a motion to adjourn. Yeah, no, well, you're setting around. I'll second. I'll second. So we do nothing. Well, I was thinking you know, we would have a motion to. Nobody wants to move it forward, so it's motion done. Under. I'm not discussing stuff. I got, I got, got voted down not to build a new building. Okay. The only option you have now is to discuss whether you're going to renovate your, rent Chairman, your space. Mr. Chairman, uh, the motion to adjourn is not for discussion. The motion to adjourn is not what? It's on the table and it's not for discussion. It's a vote. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Mr. Chairman, you did um, you did delay the ability of the public to comment, and perhaps that should be oh, taken yeah. in Let them the motion. Comment, even though we have made a decision. So. So is, so we got to do something with the adjourned motion. I was going to say, are you withdrawing no. your motion to adjourn then at this yeah, time? Yeah, I'm sure. Craig, Ron, you second? You're withdrawing your second? Yes. Okay. Okay. We'll open the floor for public uh, comment. If anyone would like to make a comment, please come forward and state your name for the record. <coughs> yes, sir. Hey, well, Mike Strife. Um, Mr. County, do we have money now to build this building? When do you money, have your yes, we do. Do you actually have cash to do it? You mean the t total 12.5? No, we have $800,000 that's available to us every year from the windmill money, which the windmill money is not supposed to be used to balance our budget every year. Then where would the additional money come from? That would cover the payment on a 20 year bond, it the way that we're talking, the way the figures that we've gotten so far. It keeps coming in, DSS will pick up. This is a quick figure. They're going to take, if we built a new building that we're talking about, the SS will take be 75% of the space, and they will pay 75% of their space cost. So in other words, right now, roughly, and don't hold us to the exact <laughs> figures, between what the SS would pay us on their share over 16 years, it would be around 300 and some thousand dollars a year, and the cost of the new building was in the seven and 800 range. Correct me if I um, got it, I wait. So the county share would be $500,000 a year. So we do have the money, it would not be out of taxpayers' pocket. Did we borrow money from the hospital? The yes. hospital paid us back and gave us some money. <coughs> the hospital borrowed money from us, but they've since paid us back. Okay, so we did not borrow money from the hospital. We don't owe the hospital money. No. No. Even though it's a college. There, 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 is, an abs there is a outstanding loan with the hospital. 400 we had borrowed. We 
We yeah, did we this. Was shipping to four hundred thousand. They chipped in, and the thing was because of the cost <laughs> overrun for the building at JCC because we didn't do due diligence on it. And the thing is, is that we could reach in our fund balance and pay that two million dollars off, and we chose not to. So we really don't owe the hospital anything. And the training center? Do we owe money on the training center? What training That's center? That's the JCC. You mean JCC? Yes. No. 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 <coughs> the, only, the, only, the, only, the only outstanding building payment you have is this building here, which how many years is left? The courthouse. Lots. Well, we so seven. And we restructured that, what, five years ago, right, Patty? 2008. Yeah, 2008. Everything and else that we had under the sheriff's department is paid for, and the only thing we owe is this one building. Okay, so moving forward, it sounds it is possible to build this building and not co cost the taxpayers a pile of money. So no, any. No, well, it shouldn't cost. I mean, any it, is a strong word. Yeah, any is a strong <laughs> word. It, it's cost you money because the windmill money is coming from the state and it's coming from the federal <coughs> government. So, so, yes, I mean, but directly, right directly out of our ta land tax money here in Lewis County, no. That that payment would be fully out of the windmill pilot. I, I see the public not understanding this whole process. And coming here tonight for a few minutes that I've been here, there seems to be a lot of disagreement amongst the legislators over just how to move forward. Doesn't seem to be any concrete dollar signs or, or, or estimates or or anything like that of exactly what the building's gonna cost because we don't particularly know if we need a larger building, a smaller building, what's going to work. And the other part of that is the DMV moved. I mean, are we leasing the building down there? Yes. How much does that cost? 1900 a month. You know, it would be nice if the public knew this. I, I do read the meetings and I read what what's in the uh, newspapers. Mm -hmm. um, and I just can't find this information anywhere. And what other organization in the county is also Leasing or rent. Board of Elections is leasing from the comp from um, Transitional Living Services, who owns the comps. So and those are the and, and we moved out offices of the aging because we had a little space up there. Yes, this is up there. So they would have been paying rent if we didn't have space for them. And we can that building sitting mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. and putting it back up in the hill where it was originally designed for with better and different. We can measure it is. $12.5 million to build that building. Yeah. Now, some of the questions that speak up, fellow legislators, uh, there's a question whether we got more space than we need and whether we want to downsize. There's a question is that do we want to turn around and put it down here in the village <coughs> on some place or this or that? And how much more is it going to cost us to change these? All these questions don't have any answers and I don't see how you could, as a board you can move forward. Well see the thing is until, until you have some of this information. That's what we were trying it, to do. It's tonight. not put together. Um, that's how I was trying to do tonight is to get it to move forward because to get answers to them questions this gentleman that works for Bernie or Carr it's going to cost <laughs> us more money to get them questions. So if we downsize the original plans by 10 percent they've got to redesign that building so your footers Everything from the ground up has got to be redesigned if you're going to downsize that building 10%. Mm -hmm. We have a few people that want to put property within the village. Mm -hmm. So that on top of that, then now you got to do studies. You got to do your soil studies. You got to do your bore samples and see what kind of ground that you're working with. Those are all things we've got to spend more money on. See, another question is: there room enough up on Stone Street to build a new building? Yeah. yeah. Um, we put money in the parking lot. And lighting. Yeah, yeah but what? Do you want to get rid of all that by moving the building somewhere else? No, the building's going to be right next to the PSB building. <coughs> that part of parking lot can still be utilized. That's what we're talking about. But, but there's other people want to move it elsewhere, so we got to decide. That. Okay. That's where we're having the problem now. But if you want the public to back you, you've got to give them some information so they can give you some input. Well, that's what we're really trying to do. I know you're trying to do that, but you're trying kind to move of it forward. So, yeah. I mean, if nobody can decide that they want to build a building anyway, then 
it's really hard. It's really hard to know what the costs are going to be until you say yes, we're going to build a building. But it's just all questions. If you got to get some answers to yeah, get, get it out to the public. It's, yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, we have a lot of the answers. And, and the way this know, bill is set, set, it's twelve point five million setting up on that location. And if we go anywhere else, I can guarantee we won't do it any cheaper. But there's some extra space out there we're not sure we'll ever need. So that's the big hang up. And we need to shrink it <coughs> to bring, if we bring it down in the village. Well, by the way. Okay. And, I, I think we think would be congested with traffic. You know, I mean, it would be a parking problem, too, if we brought it, brought it down to the village. We, we have rough estimates. We have this piece of paper with all the properties that were presented to burn your car. We <coughs> talked about this three months ago. We have 12 properties here. The cheapest property to build on was one piece of, pro well actually was a piece of property that we own, $12 million. That's what the projected cost was then, okay? To move to one of the other properties, which is out of the village limits, was $13.197 million. The two properties within the village were anywhere from 12 something <coughs> up to 13. You know, so and there's one in there for 18. So we had the figures there. It's all that, good information. That's all. Get it out to the public. Well, I understand, so but what's the sense of bringing it out to to the public if we can't decide ourselves that's whether or not we want the building? There's no sense of presenting it to you as, unless we know for sure here that we want to move forward with that and that's all that I'm trying to that's all I was trying to accomplish tonight and obviously and even, I voted no so it, it's a killed motion so so even if we moved it forward with including everything we can't even do that and let you see everything we're looking at so I think we had a consensus that we need to move forward on the, on the process but before we could get to that we that motion to adjourn, so yeah. Adjourn. Oh, we got another one. Yes, Mr. Jackson. My name is Jimmy Jackson. I'm from down the southern end of the county. My take on the way we've been hearing it right here today. You got a pile of windmill bunny burning a hole in your pocket. I think it could be spent a lot better than a new courthouse or a new new county office building. There's other buildings that need to be re renovated in the county here. Well, and then another thing, this was put up for a public vote six, eight years ago and it went down in flames big time. The people don't want it. And, and if uh, the consensus down on my end of the county, <laughs> if it's put up for a vote again today, it ain't gonna fly. Well, Fort Lyon seems to agree with it, and the town of Lyon were in favor of it and still are. I'm from the town of Lyon, sir, and they're not. Well, you're not at the town board meeting. I'm not. Me I'm not. It. You can and run me down. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. And but what uh, we're trying it, to it, do, it is not going to fly down in the southern end of the county. We need to do something with the SS to start with. That's four point some odd million to renovate that. Then we're still renting all over the place, and we have no efficiency. So if you don't want it, that's fine. What I'm saying is, if you got this windmill money burning a hole in your pocket, which it seems to be the way it is, you could use it a lot better than the people of the county. Well, we voted forward. that the windmill money is only to be used for infrastructure, not run the day-to-day -day budget of the county. Oh, there's other buildings that need to be fixed in the county other than building a new one. Well, what one? That's, that's... Are you talking DSS? This is part of it. The, the highway department needs to be done something with. Right. The old good. extension building needs some money put into Which it. Which one? That's DSS. That's DSS. Okay. That's $4.9 million, dollars and then we haven't solved our problem yet. Uh, just throwing a bunch of money at a new building is not the answer. Because the taxpayers of the county already are hurting bad enough without you guys trying to add more tax burden, more ta to our tax burden. That's basically but, where I'm coming from. Right, and what I was explaining to um, the gentleman up front here, though, is that your, your land taxes aren't going to go up with this new building. 
the windmill money will pay for that payment, okay? We can't use, you can't use this windmill money to balance our budget because the windmill money isn't steady all the time. It, it dwindles, like so with the Maple Ridge, it's gonna dwindle over the next 20 years. The new projects start out, but then when they renegotiate, that windmill funding drops, okay, through the pilot agreements. So you can't count on that, no different than we can't count on the sales tax revenue because it's up and down. You can't balance your budget with that. DSS building, which you're saying cooperative extension, that's, we did the space study in our, our, our um, campus needs. That is number one priority. Highway department's number two. DSS building is number one priority to renovate. To renovate is 2.6.5. 4.9. 4.9 of those. To renovate that 30 year old. And that's building. without the money from the state. Yep, and that does nothing for anybody right. else that doesn't have And that doesn't money. solve the rental space we have with the commons, where the Board of Elections is. Is waiting measures there too? Yeah, measures. And then we're running DMV, which we just moved in, so. All right, you're saying that the taxes aren't going to go up. The Your taxes money. will not go up with the windmill money funding this project. Your taxes you're did not go up. Sir, <coughs> What's that? Up, you're a firm believer that the sun came up in the west this morning. I'm sorry. Well, nothing is guaranteed in life, sir. I mean, what, what we've done so far, sir, with the, uh, new courthouse that we were forced to build it was 13 million dollars and the tax we use windmill money and we've never had a tax increase to pay for that building using the windmill money and i'll get them to figure exactly what it is mike what? don't hold me to this but i would say seven to eight percent that if we didn't have that windmill money and we we're forced to do it so by using the windmill money we saved you in your taxes of levying them to pay for that building. We built a radio project for $11.1 million and we used 5.1 of the windmill money. So your taxes didn't go up because of that. The only thing we've raised on taxes is day-to-day -day business of the county employees, raises and stuff that we need to do to maintain these buildings. That building in the windmill was no taxpayer dollars. And this building, we'd do everything we could to make sure it's no taxpayer dollars to it. Because if I gotta raise your taxes to build the building, then we're gonna do something else. But my feeling is, if we do it right, it's gonna be when the windmill and stuff peters out and we don't have this, it's gonna be money to give back to you people because we built in infrastructure now, we don't have to tax you to build the infrastructure we didn't build. Are there any other public comments? Motion on the floor to adjourn. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.